Violet Hatcher of Bennettsville is still settling into her new apartment. This three-bedroom place is a dream come true for Violet and her four small grandkids. I was just so overwhelmed. I just cried and praised the Lord for like three hours. My throat's still sore. Violet is so emotional because for the last month, she and her four grandsons had been living out of a hotel room. She had become homeless after falling on hard times. Violet tells me every day was a struggle after she lost her job. She scrounged up 50 bucks a night from family and friends to pay for a motel room. And the, past, and the last week I was there, I was actually struggling with how I was going to pay to rent the room and, and feed them too. So I'd get the, I'd, you know, concentrate, you know, get, or get the room paid and then I'd make sure I had food for them when they got out of school. Violet knew she couldn't go on living this way. Someone referred her to the Marlboro County Community Development Corporation, or CDC. She says her life changed when she walked through their doors. I was asking only for one night help, paying for the motel room, and I got a year's help. Through a federal grant for the homeless, the CDC got her an apartment and will pay the rent and utilities for one year. The organization applied for the grant last year. A lot of times, we're not aware of the fact of the homeless because, as you say, some of them, you might have three or four generations living in one household or some are just not documented as in larger metropolitan areas. Their large generosity is more than Violet could have imagined. The boys, they love it. They've been, every day they've been out in the yard playing football. Violet Hatcher says she can now rest easy in her new apartment and concentrate on finding a job. In Bennettsville, Tanya Brown, News Channel 15.